hello everyone welcome again to my channel the creative as IT. so in today's video i'm going to share some best practices around sprints organization in jira and some other tips along with the best practices on jira for agile teams so let us start so i'm using the same project that i have used for some earlier uh, videos on jira series so we will open scrum test one which is having a key scrum one and this is company managed software so if i open this particular jira project so the project gets opened and this is our left navigation which consists of timeline backlog active sprints so if i click on the backlog so we already have one active sprint which got started on feb 20 and it will end on 4th of march so right now it indicates like uh, this sprint one has 18 issues so how do we know like you know whether we have 18 issues so we have four user stories and also if we can see the subtask we have five here two seven four eleven and three fourteen so we have set of 14 subtask and we have four user stories so that becomes 18 and uh, we can also edit this sprint let's say you know we left something in the defining the goal so if you want to edit we can simply click on the edit sprint so let's say if, uh, we simply say very first sprint for the team to start working in agile way of working scrum so we will simply update it so this gets updated here right and uh, this is also very important i have also mentioned in previous videos as well like this shows like how many story points of work uh, is remains to do which is not started and what has been in progress and the amount of work which has been completed in the story points so just to show you how it uh, gets updated let's say this particular user story team has started working and if they mark it as in progress so it will show you know five story point of work is in progress and uh, 11 remains to do if for any reason let's say we quit say this is kind of a done so you know we can see okay five story points of work is done so this is was just to kind of like showcase how this number change and uh, this indicates the sprint health as well as the sprint progress as well so we will simply say to do just to keep it simple so uh, we can see we have 16 story points of work to be completed by the team in sprint one so this is our sprint one which consists so this particular area is called the sprint backlog all the work items that we have defined in our sprint one along with the user stories issues and subtasks so this consists of our sprint one activities or sprint one to do or a sprint one backlog and uh, this backlog is our what we call the product backlog which consists of seven issues as of now so what about the next sprints this team has thought of right so those things are not coming uh, from this particular board so what we can do is let's say we can simply click on the create a sprint here so it will create a new sprint this is called a sprint 2 and uh, you can you guys can please see that you know the very first sprint one is ending on 4th march and when i clicked on the new sprint it has created a subsequent sprint using the same duration so till 5th march 5th march to 8th march we have a sprint 2 and let's say we also want to go ahead and create another sprint so this is our sprint 3 from 19 till 1st of march so now uh, let's say at a very high level we want to kind of like place some of the user stories that are in the product backlog and that we think as a team our team will be working on in the sprint two and three so let's say the build dev environment our team will be doing in the sprint two so we will simply place it here right so it has placed it and simply we can also drag like QA environment setup let's say we, our team will be working on in the sprint two so this has placed the queue environment setup so these two stories are tagged for the sprint 2 similarly let's say our team will be working on payment using net banking in the sprint 3 so we can place it here right so this way we can kind of like organize our work and we can see how the current sprint as well as the subsequent sprints look like at a very high level also some other tips are this particular bar like it indicates like what's the priority so uh, some of the user uh, some of the teams you know what they do is you know let's say forgot uh, let's say user profile has a high priority those they will simply place it on the top uh, so anything which is on the top that means becomes high priority or we can change the priority from here as well so right now it says medium if i click on this one i can say this is of highest priority similarly let's say user login is of also of high press, highest priority so we can do that so simply by clicking on this we can change the uh the way we want to define and arrange the priorities 
and other important aspect is uh, if we look at this particular one this provides the backlog insights right so if i click on this one so it shows like what exactly we have planned in the sprint one so in sprint one this is our current sprint we have total 16 story points of work that team has committed and uh, uh, it shows like you know we have uh, four issues and all of them are of type story right so this is what we get the indication from here also if we look at uh, some other reports at a very basic level so if i click on the reports and if i click on the burn down chart let's try to open the burn down chart okay it's taking time okay now it has come so here we can see if we are let's say on the issue count so we can see that you know we can bring our uh, burn down based on the issue count as well because right now i haven't configured the estimate so we can see that you know in total we have four issues of four user stories planned in the sprint one also we can configure it on the story points so it will show like how many story point of work our team has planned so this team has planned 16 story points of work right and uh, yeah, since you know we did some activity we marked one of the user story as done and then we reopened it and that's why it's showing this kind of a change now let's go back to the project okay and if i click on the active sprint so this will show me okay this is what what our active sprint is a sprint one and it is showing like 60 days is remaining so this is primarily at a task level let's say we want to move one of the tasks like to in progress or let's say this particular user profile ui this is in progress so i can mark it here and once this task is done i can simply say okay this task is completed right so uh, this particular kanban board for the sprint one is used at a task level we can say uh, this is our task board or you know the different user story if you want to update the status we can simply say to do in progress and done now if we go to the backlog we can see yeah so this is what our sprints are uh, this is how the sprints are structured and they are defined so this was a quick video on how to arrange the sprints, how we can update, how we can create the subsequent sprints. And in case if you want to place some of the defined user story from product backlog to the subsequent sprints, we can always drag and drop from there and uh, how to change the priorities, how to understand the to do in progress and done concepts and uh, uh, at a very basic level, how we can actively use the sprint burn down as well. So I hope you guys like this video. And if you are new to this channel, please share and subscribe. Thank you.